Okay guys, well you just bought your new camera and it's loaded with the buttons, screens and lights. But what is all that stuff, right? You're brand new to photography, uh, you know you need a decent camera and the only thing you know is that you don't want to take all your pictures in auto mode, okay? So you want to learn about photography and you don't know where to start. Well if that's the case, this video is for you, alright? Let's get started. Okay guys, well you got your camera, now what? Well, there are a couple of things that are important to know in photography and I'm going to keep this as basic as possible, okay? So we're not going to talk about the artistic elements of it, we're not going to talk about composition and all that kind of stuff. We're going to talk about three basic technical elements that are really important when taking a picture, okay? Now, the way that a camera has been structured uh, pretty much since day one is you have a box with a hole in the front that can open and close, which is your shutter, and it can open just slightly so you have a pinpoint letting light in, or it can open up quite wide so you can have a lot of light uh, come in, right? Now, um, the settings of a big hole or a small hole is called the aperture and it's regulated in f-stops, okay? So an f-stop that's quite high means a very small pinpoint hole and quite low means the opposite, okay? So that regulates the amount of light coming in. Now the second thing that's important is how long are you gonna let that light come in, okay? So that is regulated by the shutter speed, okay? So you have a, a duration that is extremely short or that is much, much longer. Now that said, if you are taking a picture of something that's moving and you have that thing open for a longer period of time, you're going to get blurry pictures. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so we got the shutter opening, which is aperture indicated in f-stops. We got the shutter speed, which can be something like 1 1,000, 1 2,000, whatever, which is really like milliseconds. And then the third one is ISO. Now, back in the day when you had a roll of film in your camera, you had an ISO value, and that pretty much was the light sensitivity of the film. So if you were making pictures, let's say in the evening or even at night, you would need extremely light sensitive uh, film, so uh, you could still get something onto your film even with minimal light settings, okay? Now, these three things determine uh, pretty much what your picture will look like as far as the technical aspects are concerned, okay? So, this is uh, as basic as it can get. I hope it was helpful and I'll uh, put in um, a, a slide below that will help you to understand what settings go with what, okay? So, that said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.